Greetings, my friends. <laughs> I can't come up with anything new. You know, when I come to start, um, the only thing I'm thinking about is saying hello. But I use greetings. I don't know. One day I'm actually going to sit down and maybe think of something first before I start talking. Maybe that'll make a difference. We'll see. It could happen. I'm, um, I'm feeling a little strange today. A little strange. Um, it's good. I mean, I'm kind of adjusting to my life once again and getting caught up on some of the things that I need to get done and slowly and surely. And, you know, I'm kind of trying to get back into my normal routine, but, um, it's taking a little bit of time. I think I'm just trying to relax a little bit just because I've been on so on the go for the last couple of months that I feel, I, I don't know. I just, um, I feel like I just kind of like want to relax for a little bit before I get going again because I do like to get going and, and, and keep moving very rapidly in life but um, I've got, I'm have got i trying to burn a D DVD over here and this stupid machine my desktop is not burning I, I don't know what the hell's going on with it um, I'm having problems with my brand new laptop hardware is a real pain in the ass and let me tell you it doesn't make a difference in the world whether it's Mac or if it's PC they both have problems and not just like one or two I'm talking major fucking problems that just cause you to um, to not be able to accomplish the things you need to or make it five times longer than it needs to be but um yeah, I'm not thrilled with the hardware that I have. And even if I spent more money, let's just say I took a large amount of money and bought something that's professional, top of the line, $30,000, there's no guarantee that that would work seamlessly. Just no guarantee. And besides, who wants to invest that kind of money unless it's going to pay off, right? Anyway, I'm a little, um, I'm a little upset that this keeps failing because it's annoying. And uh, I'm trying to get things done. But anyway, I'm sure that they will. I'm feeling a little bit off because this would be the day typically when I got home that I would try to get right to bed because I want to get every ounce of sleep I could because I'd have to get up 3 in the afternoon, not too long from now, and um, get up and get ready and head up north to do a show to do my, my driving, my endless driving. So... Um, I'm feeling a little empty because I don't have that now, still. Somebody commented that uh, they think that I belong up there. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, it's a beautiful area. It's a beautiful area. I love it. I couldn't live up there, I don't think, because it's far away from most of the people that I know, um, my family. It's um, it's not a city, you know. I guess that's the thing. Like I like twenty-four hour everything, close by. And I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, I'm I want to go somewhere where there's a lot of work, you know, and especially in the things that I want to do. And to me, I mean, I probably eventually will wind up going more towards Boston because that's where there's a lot of resources and a lot more work for the things that I want to do. But uh, even if I did, I don't think that would stop me from going up to North Conway. Matter of fact, I don't think anything would stop me from going up there because uh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I love the people. And I miss them. And I talked to a few of them yesterday, which was nice. It was more than nice, actually. Yeah, more than nice. So anyway... Um, I'm also making plans. I might be going up again in another couple of weeks for a visit. Sometime within the next couple of weeks, I'm definitely going up. That's a guarantee. So anyway, uh, yeah. Work was kind of, you know, work was work. What can you say about it? Nothing good. Nothing bad. Uh, it's The people are good. That's one thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good group of people and um, most everybody is gets along very well and um, does what they can to get the work we need done and um, there are some that don't or you know are not uh, well whatever 
there's good enough people there to make it enjoyable enough despite the not ideal schedule which is not that bad either because it still frees up my time and I don't have to work on the weekends and it's only four days a week oh I'm sorry four days a week but anyway um, a couple of days ago I started talking about whether or not the it was an importance or need for something called a theater critic <laughs> and I kind of wanted to get back into that today just because I had been thinking about it you know and um, you know there's nothing wrong with anybody having a, an opinion okay everybody's gonna have one why well, try to discourage anybody from having an opinion and um, one step beyond that would be who decides whether or not an opinion is correct or not correct who decides that um, I don't think opinions can be right or wrong they're just thoughts they're ideas they could be based on multiple layers of criteria and experience you know and and even in that case there's something that's always in there that is gonna make it flawed it's called bias everybody has it you can't get around it to try to not be biased about something is next to impossible maybe not impossible but next to impossible and uh, no matter what it is you know um, we'll look at it as a perspective from an adjudicator uh, of, of theater shows and um, if you've seen the show before if you're familiar with it then you might have some kind of personal att uh, attachment or assessment of what you believe it should be like I mean now you have a personal bias um, if you've been in it then it might be even more personal to you um, if you've seen it on Broadway that could influence the way you think things should be done but in any case there's still influence there's still bias you know and even if you haven't seen something it could be that you are in a a designated professional theater as opposed to community theater well there you might be using something different what standard you believe to measure a professional theater with which is it's still your bias you know what I mean like there isn't a set rules that say this is what a professional theater show should look like you know I mean like art is not it's not something that's right or wrong no matter how you look at it art is art you know and and art is everywhere you know I mean like that's that's one of the things you know you look around at at products I mean I'm looking around at products in my room and there's artwork all over these products logos and and designs and and fonts that that identify these products and an artist graphic artist created them you know is there anything right or wrong about it you know it's designed for a specific purpose and, and performing arts is something that people might think like um, oh it might be a different animal or it's something different but art is art and performing art is um it's just something that it can't be wrong and everybody everybody is going to have an opinion about it you're gonna see it and you're gonna have an opinion whether or not is it's an informed opinion as someone else's well maybe you've seen more maybe you've been exposed to more maybe you understand more about the theater um, that doesn't mean you know like that your assessment of it is going to be it could be the same as somebody that's not as informed they might not have or be able to describe in detail everything that they saw but they know when they saw something that looked good sounded good felt good to them um, and that's I guess that's where the line is you know um, this kind of stems from the New Hampshire Theater Awards you know it's something I was a part of for a long time and, and so many people always came up and said um, you know we want specific people held you know with, with a, a more of a pedigree to adjudicate our shows you know and maybe the feedback from them would have been more useful to the people some certain people out there but um, as far as that process is concerned it's performing art and everybody can have an opinion about it you know and I compare movies to this type of um, performing art because they're both performing arts um, sure that's maybe some people would look at as a different animal but um, not so much not so far away removed as as you would think 
because um, sure with the movies you can do a lot more there's a lot more resources and elements that go into it that help with all facets of it but yet everybody has an opinion whether or not they like the movie or not they know when they like they know when they like the way a scene looks the way it's lit um, well, an actor did a good job. I mean, there's a lot of things that influence it. You know, the cut where the camera is being held, um, uh, the music that's that's helping influence the emotion. A lot of things set up emotion so that the actor doesn't have to do as much. But um, but regardless, I mean, it's an art, and everybody can have an opinion of it. And not everybody knows what goes into making a movie. You know, not everybody can look at and say what kind of cameras were used, what kind of lenses, what kind of filters, what kind of effects were added, how, how these were composited later. I mean, how they were cut down. I mean, there's just there's so many things that people will have no idea about, but yet they can tell whether or not they like the movie. And, I, and performing arts like theater is no different. People can know what they like and what they don't like. If they want to see something, if they want feedback that comes from somebody who's very knowledgeable in all other aspects of theater, that's one thing. But, you know, to be able to get a group of people to, together to say whether or not they really liked it or saw something outstanding, it's going to be an opinion. And if you've got a lot more people that like it than don't like it, there you have it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even really know if I'm making a point. But the point that I wanted to make is that there are people that are out there that just critique you know, and, and this is the thing that I really don't have much use for myself. I'm not, I'm not looking for somebody to critique my work. I don't care about feedback. I, I do what I want. Um, the feedback I get is from the audience, whether or not they, I hear them laugh or I hear them cry, whether I hear them applaud or they come up to me afterwards and tell me that they like what they did or I touch them in a certain way. That's really the only thing I look for. You know, if, if somebody wants to come over and tell me like that, oh, I like the way you did this and that and something wasn't un wasn't forced and, you know, you're just natural. I mean, that's great. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, I don't really actively look for it because um, I just have my own way of doing things. And that's that's the way I am. But um, and I, I can understand how people are looking for more and more feedback uh, to, to always improve. And I am looking to improve. And I turn to some people. And I, I turn to a lot of books and other things to get as much information I can to help me with my craft. But um, there are people that just like to critique others. They don't ask for it. They just kind of go there and decide that they're going to write up a little story about whether or not they like the show. And um, I just don't agree with, not, not that I, whether I agree or not with what they say, it's why they're doing what they're doing. You know, if somebody went to them and asked them to do it, I can understand it. But people that do that on their own, why? Why bother? I mean, are you going to feel better about yourself by critiquing other people? Do you think your opinion's better than somebody else's? Do you think that you know more than everyone else? Good for you. You know, good for you. But anyway, um, if anybody's going to critique something, I think that what they should do is encourage people to go to see theater theater is a dying art form and it's too bad because i think the best actors that will ever make it anywhere are going to come from theater are going to have that in their lives because there's so much that you learn about every facet of acting and in in theater and in, in performing arts in general just from from being in the theater um there's so much about life that you get from it uh, the, the the sense of community and helping and working hard and and doing things not for anything else but just to help other people that's that's something you won't get anywhere else and more people i'd like to see get involved in it and if there's a critic out there then i would encourage them to write something to encourage people to go see the theater you know you want to talk about whether somebody's performance is stilted or didn't you know wasn't right in your opinion that's great. Okay, that's great. Oh boy, somebody's not afraid to share their opinion. Blah, 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 blah. Encourage people to go see the theater. Make a use out of yourself. I think that would be the best way to use your pen or your keyboard. Okay. Anyway, uh, just my thoughts on that. So, um, yeah, I'm racking up the minutes again, aren't I? But anyway, there's nothing wrong with people that want to review something. You know, I mean, like you want to talk about a play, somebody's unfamiliar with a play. 
you know, and some people do describe it, whether or not they thought the author did whatever they see that came from the author. I don't know. But uh, to critique people's performances because they didn't come out the way that you thought, well, you weren't involved with the production and there were other people's choices, you know, and I wouldn't want anybody to sabotage somebody else because they simply didn't like it or they didn't understand it. Even if they thought they could have done better, they didn't, they weren't involved. So for somebody to write about it, I think it's shitty. But in any case, if you write about something and you encourage people to go to the see the theater, I applaud you. And anyway, um, that's probably enough on that because I got to stop making 17 minute videos. They seem to be uh, taking up a lot of people's time. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one. I got to get some sleep and get up, get some work done and maybe hang out with some friends. That might be cool. Kind of warm in here. I'm turn the fan back on too. Anyway, hopefully I will talk to everyone very soon. Or see them sooner. Gotta go. So long.